Hey folks, Nino here. Today we're talking about some items that have uses in niche situations that might surprise you. The blowtorch can be used to repair damage to your vehicle, but it's also helpful to keep around as a way to light fires. If you're not lucky enough to find a petrol lighter, then using a blowtorch can be a great alternative. Although a gas canister can take up a lot of space, I often find myself carrying around a gas canister anyway. I personally make it a goal every life to search for a gas stove and a cooking pot to attach to the gas canister. That way I can cook food and purify water on the go. Carrying a single spark plug on you only takes up one slot and might lead to stealing a car. Often when players using a car stop to loot, they'll take the spark plug out so that way if anyone discovers the car, won't be able to simply drive off with it. Well, if you're carrying a spark plug in your inventory, you can quickly add a spark plug and drive off into the sunset with your newly stolen vehicle. Sunglasses are more than cosmetic and can block out sun rays. Often when you are setting up an ambush, it's best to keep the sun at your back. That way, when your enemy turns around and faces you, they will have sun rays messing with their vision. So in the case of someone using this strategy on you, if you have sunglasses on, it will mitigate the sun rays and you'll be better able to respond to enemy attacks. A screwdriver might come off as a junk item with little use other than opening cans. You can actually use a screwdriver to stealth kill zombies. Screwdrivers can also be used to disarm landmines. You can lock up car batteries and radiators with a screwdriver which will make it harder for parts to be stolen by sneaky players. You can even chip off small stones from boulders with a screwdriver, then use those small stones to make stone knives, useful in crafting. Sometimes when you're trying to get into a toxic zone, the hardest part can be finding a gas mask filter. You can take matters into your own hands by crafting an improvised gas filter. Keep an eye out for three key ingredients, a water bottle, dust mask, and charcoal tablets. Combine a water bottle with the dust mask to create an improvised gas filter, then refill it by combining the filter with charcoal tabs. Nails aren't just for base building. You can use nails to make a nailed baseball bat. This is probably one of my favorite early game melee weapons. Hits with a nailed baseball bat will inflict heavy shock damage and also apply a bleed effect to enemy players. Use this to your advantage by decimating your foes with repeated attacks or make them bleed out while you maintain a safe distance. Sawed off weapons sound like a counterproductive concept. Why would you want to make your weapon less accurate? Sawed off items are easier to fit into your inventory, so you could make your character appear unarmed. Running around the spawn town as a freshie while secretly carrying a double barrel shotgun can lead to getting some sneaky kills on players that think you're unarmed. Fireworks might seem like just another RP item with little use. You can use fireworks to conceal the sound of movement and to act as a distraction. It can even be used as a way to draw enemies to you so that you can ambush them and take them out. Place a box of fireworks in the center of town, then run off into the tree line, scan the area for movement, and snipe curious bandits. Blast the video on the left for more sneaky tricks. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Follow me on Twitch to catch me live. Thank you and have an awesome day. Peace.